Brindle. Little village near Preston, Lancashire. Been told by a colleague that some lovely thatched roofs uh, here. Lovely feel to it as you're biking into it. So that's the build up. The old post office there. It's been converted. Another building there. 1988, that said, so it's not so, so old there. But uh, yes, very nice. It's going to take five as we go through here. Nice, easy gear. Beautiful little flower boxes there, just <coughs> well maintained. Community hall, a very beautiful, picturesque little church. Um, coming up to, looks like some kind of inn, some kind of public house. Cavendish Arms, very nice. That looks like a very nice place to have a liquid refreshment uh, maybe even a bowl of chips very nice hoping I'm going the right way not quite sure which way to go excuse me yeah. sorry to bother you um, if I'm going to Bamba Bridge follow it all the way down and you'll come from any roundabout Turn right. But it's that way rather than that way, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely that way. That's fine. Thank you so much for your time, thank you. It's very busy there. The reason why I went a bit polite then is that lady had a tear in her eye, I don't know. I guess the wrong people there. Hello there. Hello. Little Jack Russell here. Doing a day's work, is Jack Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely fella, farmers of salt of the earth kind of people. I've worked for all kind of people in my life. Some of the nicest people you, you don't mind grafting, you want to graft your ass off for them. It's the best way I can describe it. Hopefully, top of this hill will be the top and we'll be able to go down to the other side. But, like I said, these are the early videos. We're not going to do any Logan Paul stuff and go into any woods or out you know that's what I'm just trying to point I'm trying to say there is everyone starts out somewhere look at them now and look at their early videos you can do the same with that KSI no it's the famous ones that everyone knows but there's a lot above the smaller channels that I've discovered over this last couple of years and you know they're obviously not trying to take over the world food liquid everything like they are um you know but they're from what i can see it's comfortable living it's uh it excites me more than a nine to five making a giant corporated company billions and millions of dollars to pollute the atmosphere when so many things if you've got morals and you start to believe in these things but just going to work working in a chicken factory eight hours a day you don't know what you're contributing to man I'm starting to see the light I am the lights are even if I can say it uh, beautiful sky there I don't know if you can see that but yeah obviously I want to work you need to provide for yourself your family or whoever you're looking after always remember guys look after number one first and that doesn't mean to be selfish that means to pay dividends Fireman in fireman's training, you know, you've got to make sure you're safe first. You can't save people if you ain't got both them feet planted.
make these videos and stumble across interactions of normal, everyday, good English people. Um, to give you this view of England, there's a different views of all countries. Um, this is just my perspective this afternoon. I'd like to share it with you all in a positive way. I hope you are interested by this, intrigued. Start to like and subscribe to my content. We're going to try and build something. Um, and in doing that, the main goal is mental health, helping men my age or that's the small t target uh, that I'm starting on anyway. And then they try and spread out from that. But from what I've researched and how you do it, you need to have this core five steps at the start of this. And then I'm going to build on that. Don't forget we've got the white collar boxing happening on the 18th of November at the Deepdale Stadium, Preston. Get your tickets, they go on sale from the 22nd of December. Uh, sorry, my apologies. 22nd of September. Be there, be square. I had to say it. Ripping Street. Oh no, sorry, Pippin Street. Oh, there's Preston again. Interesting little town slash city now. 20 years this year, I believe. Uh, interesting places. Um, Avon and Park is one I'm going to shout out for, give a shout out to Avon and Park and all the people, the groundsmen and the people who work on there, the behind the scenes stuff, big up to them. Uh, I've sat on the benches there and had many a um, legal cigarette there, legal we said, not illegal, legal. Sat there and chunged a few cigs out and uh, looked at nature, the squirrels in that park are something else, I tell you. You can make your own ice age in there if you had your own tripod and obviously a few ice cubes like you need a couple of fans or something. But the squirrels there. It's an interesting car. But, yes. So some of this stuff is a bit boring I suppose but um, you can I'm hoping to like don't come across things but I suppose I need to be I'll learn as I build this and grow, but like, comment, subscribe on places that you'd like me to visit over the next few months. Like I said, we're doing the Just Giving page. That's P Thurlow 99. Sorry guys, that's P Thurlow 996 at gmail.com. Facebook Just Giving, Peter Thurlow. Uh, raising money for a prostate cancer and bowel cancer this time. Um, the target was £200, hoping to smash that to be honest with you. Um, the, the mindset of that was to try and make an easy goal really, that was obtainable, to try and build on that foundation blocks. There's a lot that Chelsea, my football team, could learn from that. Um, you know, certainly in football you can't just buy it all. You know, what I went through as a Chelsea fan with Abramovich, is that I think, I know there's Man City now, but it's, it was done in a different way. We're doing a different legacy, a different manager. Uh, Mourinho, I feel, is a different man than he was when he had Chelsea the first time round. Like a raw boxer who's Anthony Joshua, you look at the sta stages of his career. Uh, he's different now. There we go for Sandy Lane. Big shout out to my sister there. Hope you look well, Sandra. Go down here. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a bit lost. I don't really know. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Play in the woods. I've not found my way back too bad, actually. Drinks before the meal, <laughs> and uh, horse come in. Everyone, obviously, 
a bit strange, but a, a nice experience, pleasant. It was like a small horse patting it, and then all of a sudden the tail lifted. And oh my god, it was kind of like he lifted his tail like Sean Connery, lifted his eyebrow, and the next minute you've got two, three, four kilograms of horsemen who are bang right in the middle of the pub, and that was steaming before it hit the floor. I tell you, uh, it was a hell of experience. And uh, the bar lady had to come round and uh, clean it up with a dustpan and brush, which I commend that lady for that. But uh, I tell you what, that was a giggle that afternoon. So if that happened to me there that day, I definitely recommend going down there, treating you, yourself, uh, your family, to liquid refreshment, food, beverage. That's it. We're uh, coming back into the bit of civilization now. There's a 24 hour Asda here. Uh, Subway, I do believe. Come up the wrong way here. My legs are a bit shot now, so I don't think you'll get any sudden movement from me. It's a steady one. Now, I'm, uh, as we know, people have been following me from the start. I'm just travelling around with me, the tent, myself, trying to make positive content, uh, hopefully to build a build into something where we've got a community, we all doing kind of fundraising things, anybody who has got any ideas, stuff like that, we can join together, get involved. I'm somebody who's, uh, my name's Peter Thurlow, I uh, had a few different mental health problems over the course of my life. Um, I'd just like to say that um, I am somebody who's unfortunately been in the headspace of suicide. I have a good friend when I was younger died uh, through suicide, Richard Cabman, rest in peace. Miss your mate, love you. Um, of suicide and death. Not my first experience of death, but... So, yeah, big old shout out to him. And then I've had my own thing. I won't go into that right now. I'd like to try and build the channel, build the thing, and then we can talk as we talk. And kind of what you're doing, sort of like any sort of... Um, addiction group or anything like that. Um or men's groups or women's groups, I believe, or like kid and toddler groups, mother groups or anything like that, where you can sit down and talk. So I'm gonna to want to try and build that online, build a community of people we can trust, positive people in the circle. Um, 43 now, I've uh, had problems with depression, anxiety, uh, suicide. Um, I'm very glad. I'm lucky, I feel lucky to say that I'm in a much, much better place now. This is uh, years ago, previously in my life. It took me a long time to get to, about seven years now, to get to this point today. Of me doing these charity work. And my mind being strong and focused. Um, I do hold a few people as my inspiration. Sports people, mainly. Um, they've definitely changed over these last few. Um, my, my opinion on Tyson Fury has definitely changed over these last 12 months. And from, you know, my opinion of him, say, two years before coronavirus, um, the guy had walked on water, you know, I mean... Uh, and to be... I don't know, you know... There's so much stuff online, social media, it's so hard to read through the lines and make out what's true and what's not true. I would like to see this... A documentary on Netflix at home with a few of us. Big shout out to that and everyone who made that and the man himself, Paris and everyone. Uh, I think of brilliant people as people, just not quite sure on boxing politics and Frank Warren and how it all works and stuff and what it actually does go on. Uh, and I'm a trusting, faithful person, you know. Uh, as we know that, praise the Lord, amen. So, um, Anthony Joshua was another one. Uh, my opinion wasn't didn't know that much about him. It's funny how you have you have based opinion on not much fact. Um, you know, but this 
journey that he's been on since I've been following him. Amazing guy. I mean, what a character. If you would have a son or a daughter and you want someone for them to look at, to be inspired by, or to just to take some leaves out of his book on how he lives his life, or just certain aspects of his life that how it makes him tick or very, very, very dedicated, uh, focused individual uh, that's been through a lot of trauma there now. You can imagine the highs and the lows there. It's <laughs> shitting, isn't it? It's hard to shitting about. Be a catchphrase. I don't know if that'll be it. I used to say quality when I was younger. Big shout out to Darren Payne, Pete Gray, Paul Gray, Wayne Duffus, uh, Cranswick crew, the market wheat and massive. You know who you are. Nice, nice little Vespa there. Man Pressure, I think he's a Vespa to Just cruising down here now, it's a slight incline, so I'm not pedaling, I'm just chilling out thinking about what I'm saying really I'll get back to kind of this mental health chat I kind of forgot where I was or whereabouts I was with it but I'll just kind of try and pick it up again so yeah the sports you know, inspirational inspirational figures for me when I was a kid was Rocky it still is um, I know it's fictional but if you ask anyone who follows the sport of boxing the sweet sweet science then uh You'll understand. That's why there's such a people are so flabbergasted with the fact that Tyson Fury is he's fighting Thunderlips. The real do, you know. Kingdamu, the African Thunderlips. Referring to Hulk Hogan in uh, Rocky Three, the club line. Classic. Recommend you watch that tonight with curry or a Chinese maybe. Get home, get your last sat on your name, get a Chinese, get them poke balls out. Sweet and sour chicken. Uh, big shout out to us. I've been watching recently. Uh, Bosch. Big shout out to Big John's Chinese sit down. Uh, I like that. Good content. Well edited. Like everybody on there actually. I like the way they interview people. It's such a relaxed, informal atmosphere. Um, learning a lot from them guys. I uh, don't really like that sporting icons. I think he's a bit of a. Uh, Big shout out to the YB. Um, loving your content, mate. Uh, it's absolutely classic. Uh, we've got Porky's Corner as well, it's something I've watched for a long time, but that's more out of curiosity. Um, I think Porky's in a league of his own there. But yeah, big shout out to them as well. Uh, and then we've got the main ones, the IFLs. We don't need to give them any shout outs. Coogan Cassis has he's got his Rolexes and his diamonds, his daughter's got his diamond rings, you know what I'm saying? So that's that one. Done, complete, finished. What else can I try and talk about? Yeah, I could do a little review on the Usyk Daniel Dubois fight last night. Unbelievable. You know, you can never second guess life really. No one's ever going to expect that the low blow to Usyk, uh, the debatable low blow to Usyk, which, you know, if I, counting up some, I've heard four minutes, four and a half minutes, five minutes before they resumed again. And then, was it in the 10th or the 9th, Daniel, through exhaustion, if I look at the video clips again, through exhaustion, Daniel uh, quit basically again. Well, obviously a quick boxer, unfortunately, you, you don't find that out about yourself as a boxer until you get to them situations. Now, he's had the one with Joe Joyce now and the one with Usyk here. And they're both on your knees moments. You know, I'll, I'll make you make your own re reservations and opinions on that one. Uh, but for me personally, I've watched some content I shouldn't have watched, if you know what I mean, and that's been shut down, which is well done. And stop all piracy and all stuff like that. But make it a little bit cheaper, all this stuff, so we can watch it ourselves. You know, there wasn't such a good money for it then, but, uh, <laughs> um, So, yeah, anyway, I've completely lost my train of thought there now, because... Uh, in the face with a leaf to be honest I'm, um, yeah that's made me lose me train of thought there but yeah um, just going to carry on down here um, go up a couple of gears here I think 
Um, just doing the carry on with the review of Usyk Daniel Dubois. Uh, definitely uh, think da Daniel Dubois did okay from what I've seen, the footage that I've seen. But with all the controversy, another Frank Warren kind of. Yeah, I don't know. And I hate all that saying, oh, we go away from home on foreign soil. You know, it's, it's trying to bring communities and the worlds together. Um, and I don't think that does that in itself. I think it pulls things apart. Ukraine, big shout out, out to everything there. Everything that everyone's doing there. Absolutely inspiration to me and everyone around me. The whole team. Uh, you know, you know this girl's going to be, for me, in my opinion, Usyk is the the best fighter, the best technical fighter. And I'm going to say it. He's the best technical fighter I've ever seen, with my, you know, with my own eyes on footage. I know I haven't seen him in real life, but uh, I've watched a lot. You know, I love this stuff. I love this stuff. Um, keeps me away from drugs, alcohol, temptation, sin, and uh, just all-round stuff that you don't need to get involved with, really. I'm trying to enjoy a few beautiful things and that just looks like it's about. Yeah. Anyway, that's my little review of uh, the Daniel Dubois Usyk fight. Uh, it's very disappointing again for a British boxer on um, foreign soil. But, uh, you know, big shout out to Daniel for everything he did. I'm mean, going to be feeling a bit uh, gutted today. But he's young, he'll come again. He definitely needs to learn a bit of stability. I mean, I don't want to put the guy down, but I'm giving him constructive criticism here. Uh, he needs a bit more dog in it. He's got, to, he's got to pick it up there, but shout out to, like we said, an awesome pound for pound fighter, technical fighter in the South Pole, Usyk. Um, witnessing greatness there, man. He really is. Um, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. So there we go. That's the first kind of one where I've got myself a bit more used to talking, slow down, think about what we're saying. As I say, nothing's going to be scripted on what I do. It's all going to be off the chest, um, off the cuff, sorry. You know, get it off your chest, so to speak. Uh, opinions, philosophy on life, how we see things, how other people see things, trying, trying to um, integrate other aspects of things that we've learned into our life to enhance it, make it better for me, my family and everybody else. But yeah, just coming past a beautiful, beautiful church that I'm going to do its own video about St Saviour's Church because I did a bit of gardening there once. And Lovely people. Big shout out to the Reverend there, James. Ho, ho. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm going to say peace out to everyone. Love you all. And I hope you're going to enjoy this journey we go on. Who knows what can happen over the next few years with this, if we build together. As I say, it's all about trying to do things, raise money for charity, good causes, and then helping ourselves with our mental health at the same time. It's a win-win situation. Um, like I say, easy going, laid back, no pressure. Love you all, peace.